if you played this tournament, you'd probably play ramp one or two times, which if the best deck you play against it one or two times in a tournament, that seems like a pretty good tournament for me. I don't know. Correct. Yeah. It's not like, it's not 40% of this tournament was not Sultai ramp. It was 10% of the tournament and it has a 52% win rate with 10% being 10% of the tournament. So like, very reasonable, all things considered. We have here for our round seven match here, we've got mono black aggro on top versus Bant Field here on the bottom. Again, this is a heads up deck list tournament, so these players know what they're playing against. So our our aggro player does know they are playing against some sweepers. Yeah, but you saw that uh League Master Mulligan to five, but their five card hand has two Wrath of Gods, which will be good against the Vanilla beats coming out from from Mr. Turkey here. Yep. And we see Uro roll up into hand as well as a second white source here. So for Link Master, this is probably about everything you wanted, right? Like Uro to stabilize your life toll a little bit against aggro, and then a second white source here, Wrath of God is castable. I I appreciate the hover the spell I'm going to cast because my opponent is taking too long to make their play. <laughs> I, I, I I'm a fan of that line. Okay, and we see a uh, demonic embrace here from the mono black deck. Uh, I really, I really like this card in this aggressive shell. Feels feels a lot to me like it's kind of like the mono black ember cleave, for lack of a uh, lack of a better term. And this is a card that really, with your recursive threats like gutter bones, um, can really let you punch through sweeper effects like this. The the flying on demonic embrace is also incredibly important against field of the dead, so you can jump up over zombies and finish the game out. Yeah, it is going to be rough to see if... Ooh, Dreadwander is actually really good. So yes, Gutter Bones, it's a little awkward because you can't uh, bring it back unless your opponent has taken damage. But Dreadwanderer, you just need your opponent to have a little life total. Yep. So it's fairly easy to just keep recurring that, keep putting on... Uh, keep putting the Demonic Brace on it, and Todd Turkey's at 29. Like, they both give the Aether Born and the... Murder Shroud are getting them a lot of life, so they're going to be able to cast Demonic Embrace over and over and over again. Yep, and like if you're on Link Master on the board, like this this sweeper does not feel good. You're like, ugh, I have to do this, but I'm like killing their two things that are coming back anyways. And now you get Thought Seize and lose your last Wrath, and now Dread Wanderer comes up, and whatever Todd Turkey draws next turn is likely just turning into Demonic Embrace. Yeah, this this seems this seems like a very good but How many... Okay, okay, this is, uh, that was the best draw in League Master's deck, right? There's an untapped land. Okay, I think just, just like that, we're back. Yeah, de definitely back with that. Um, it's going to go to three. Is there any way that the I, mono black deck uh, Wrinkle, I, those... I, I would assume we have copies of Wrinkle. There is four Wrinkle, okay. Okay, so Wrinkle. That is, that is the plan. Wrinkle's the out. We're going to minus three here, because I assume you want to get rid of the Demonic Embrace. Not. And okay. well, an Earl can't come back, I don't believe. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't have a graveyard count here, unfortunately. I feel like, it, yeah, so I really, I really like Todd's play here. They decided not to play the Gutter Bones. Well, I guess you could play Gutter Bones. I guess Gutter Bones would just get exiled. Is this Growth oh. Spiral the Uro, the Urkurgy for Uro? I think it is. Not, it could be. Rough. That was exactly card number six in the bin to give us five to escape. And at, th at this point, the door is going to be closing pretty quickly. I guess I guess if you draw Rankle Land, Rankle plus uh, Demonic just, Embrace is lethal. Yeah, or just double Rankle, right? Because if you do the first Rankle, can make the Uro sack itself. Sure, and then they're out of cards. Yeah. So you see Castle Locked Wayne draw here. Okay. All right, we're not, like, out of the woodwork yet, but we get to continue playing a game because we drew Eliminate. Yep, stuff is happening. So, and Sp Spot of Mayhem here doesn't necessarily look like it, but it's actually a very reasonable drop because it's a card that doesn't die to Ugin, and this forces Ugin to need to down tick, which means that Ugin's not going to be threatening an ultimate anytime soon. Yep, but uh, here's another Uro. <sighs> this card just does all the things. It, it it slices, it dices, it gains life. I, I don't it, could you imagine if this card just like had to choose between things done? Like what what if it like you could only gain life if you didn't draw a card? There are no there is only positives in magic. Negatives make players feel bad and we cannot have them anymore. 
Oh, did we just concede after drawing another spawn there? <laughs> that surprises me, right? Because like the spawn, the spawn was another four drop and would have traded with the Ukin, right? Maybe they're like me and forgot the spawn was a four drop and thought okay, they were sure. three on yeah. three Yep, yeah, I that's, definitely that's I was definitely done that. <laughs> Tried to abrupt decay my fair share or eliminate my fair share of spawn of Ahams. And we see very quickly here those eliminates, speaking of, and Murderous Riders getting out of the mono black deck, boarding in Lantern and Agonizing Remorse. They know that they don't want to be interactive in this matchup. They just want to be more linear. Um, something that's actually kind of funny is that Thoughtseize being printed into Historic was actually a power level upgrade for Uro because it meant if Agonizing Remorse was being played, there's less of them and they're in sideboards instead of main decks for the most part. Yeah. Also, Uro, like a lot of these decks can have a hard time flashing back Uro, but then a lot of the thought pieces want to take your five drops. Sure. So that yep. sort of makes your Uros come online earlier. And okay. of course, thought season Uro is bad. Like you don't feel good about that ever. Correct. Whereas like agonizing Morsing Uro is like, oh yeah, this is great. I'll take more of that, please. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't beat the Uro. Now I don't have to. Feels good. Okay. And we've got, we've got Soul Guide Lantern here. So we get to go yep. Thought Seizure Uro into Soul Guide Lantern, so that mitigates uh, a little bit of the field badge there because you're getting to exile it. And they don't they don't have blue mana, so the Thought Seize is going to be able to take the Growth Spiral, and the plan is probably... Oh, they do have blue mana. Never didn't have it. You doubted Link Master. I, I you, don't put, you don't put Master in your name if you're not going to draw the blue source, Nick. That's that's just true. It would be, be false advertising otherwise. <laughs> And something actually really sick interaction here. Knight of Ebon Legion explicitly does not... We're drawing. Okay, that's interesting. We just really want our land. Huh. If the, I, I think I would have been inclined to double Thoughtseize here. Because if you double Thoughtseize... Then you get to pump up your... Knight, your, knight, yeah. your knight gets pumped from you losing four life from double Thoughtseizing. Yeah, I, I think... So, Todd is going to get rewarded here. Like, pretty hard. By being able to take this hour... And I think that's probably what they were thinking of. Maybe, like, they think, okay. Maybe, so like, their, hand, their hand's empty. Do, do you spawn a mayhem here? I kind of want to just kill them, right? Like, you don't care if they make zombies. Uh, that's yeah, probably true. Like, you get to you get to attack for one, play spawn a mayhem, and then you demonic embrace or rankle the following turn. Nah, nah, I, feel, I disagree. I feel, like this is, I feel like this is too slow. I, See, they I, knew. I, I'd much rather have spawn and play right now. Yeah. Like spawn, spawn kills really fast, especially yeah, with, with just... Monic Embrace. There's like hoping uh, to draw. Greg is he mentioning in chat that they did top a scry, so that I don't know maybe informed their decision. Yeah, I suppose. This, I guess like I guess like a top scry there could imply and like here's the issue, right? So like you waited to get pressure out, and like now your opponent has Field of the Dead. I guess yep. I guess Gifted Aetherborn is fine, right? Like you get to block and then you can put demonic embrace on it, so we might we might still be okay. It depends on if the ramp deck draws its bombs. Yeah. For people that are new to magic deck, are ramp decks likely to draw their bombs? Uh no. Actually, ramp decks only draw lands. That's why they're bad. But <laughs> Field of the Dead is good. Because when you draw your lands, you win anyway. Yep. Yep, and then lethal all loaded up right here. Yeah, I, I feel like Todd really got punished for the decisions. I don't, I don't know that Todd's decisions were, like, objectively wrong with the information that they were working with. Like, again, it's yeah, tough. I, it, I think if Todd was wrong, they were about, like, 40% wrong. You know, 60, or, like, I you agree. know. It was, it's, it's close. But then they, they got punished. At every possibility Correct, for what yeah. they did. Every every everything that could have broken wrong with the decisions that they made ended up breaking wrong for them. And, those, uh, and now and now that the field decks, you know, making zombies isn't ready to close, the fact that um the fact that our spawn of mayhem player cast a bunch of thought seasons is super relevant. Well, yeah, but yeah, like at this point, even if the at this point, even if the field player like literally disconnects, they still win because the spawn kills the mono black player. Yep. All right. Well, uh, all right. Field of the dead broke 